as I told you in the previous video that uh, first I will complete explaining you the thing as per it is given in the textbook and thereafter practically I will explain you how to create PowerPoint presentation and all the things related to PowerPoint presentation. So that will be the last video. I will be completing the chapter in this video as per the textbook. So we are in page number 204. Inserting slides. How can you insert slide? Slide can be inserted in many different ways. Go to insert menu and select slide. Alternately you can select slide then new slide from the pull down menu obtained by right clicking on the preset side slide or click the slide icon in the presentation toolbar and uh, third thing is a duplicate slide can be inserted to insert a duplicate slide select the slide which you want to duplicate from the slide pane and then select insert a duplicate slide so this is all things which is used in this software while in uh, PowerPoint presentation, Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, these all things are very easy and user friendly. Now selecting or moving a block of slide. When you want to move one or more slides can be selected using the following ways. Now suppose if you want to select a number of slides then how can you select? Then on the left hand side pane from there you can select the thing. Click on the first slide and while pressing the control key select the other desired slides. Very simple. Press and hold the control key and then click on the slides which you want to select. Another way is using shift key. In shift key what you have to do? You have to first click on the first slide which you want to select. Then you have to press and hold the shift key and then you can go on pressing the down arrow key or with mouse you can do. Uh, this selects all of the slides between first and the last slide. So it selects in continuous pattern. Then with the help of mouse we can select a group of slides. By the, For this click slightly to the left of the first slide to be selected. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse pointer to a spot slightly to the right of the last slide to, the, to be included. The same can be selected also by doing this uh, right to left, a dashed outline of a rectangle form. As you drag the pointer through the slide thumbnail, and a thick border is drawn around the selected slides. Make sure that the rectangle includes all the slide you want to select. Then next thing is the block of the selected slides can be moved in the same way as we are moving a block of text. That is uh, by cut and paste option or by dragging the mouse. The cut and paste, op uh, paste operation can be performed in usual way that is using keyboard, using icons and using menu options. If you want to use the mouse only, then simply drag and drop the selected block to their new location. A vertical black line appears to show you where the group of slides can be moved. Then selecting a layout. The layout is already discussed above in the section of task pane. From the available layouts choose the desired layout. The layouts differ in the number of elements a slide will contain. From a blank slide to a slide with six contained boxes and a title. You can select any of these. You can change the layout of each slide. To select or change the layout of any slide place the slide in the workspace and select the desired layout. The layout contains several boxes for text, media, clip, picture, chart, table, different looks. Then what is slide master? A slide master is a controller slide. It is similar 
to a page style in writer the basic formatting of all slides is controlled based on the specifications given in the slide master a presentation can have multiple slide masters there are 28 predefined slide masters in the impress as we have discussed previously in the task pane section you can apply the slide master settings to only one slide or all slides though there are 28 predefined slide masters you can create your own slide master creating slide master is very simple select master slide master in view menu you will get the master view as shown in figure 12.16 here you can see this thing i have never used all this type of things in my life i always use microsoft powerpoint presentation which is very easy and user friendly there are no master pages and nothing of this sort is available fine we continue here start with any slide master and modify it as per your requirement select new master icon in the master icon toolbar the slide master so created will be shown in the slide pane to return to normal slide editing select close master view in the master view toolbar modifying the elements once you select any slide master the workspace contains all the content of the selected slide master you can now modify the selected slide master as per your requirement note the modification in the slide master can be done in normal view only adding picture or object to the slide to add picture from clip art available in the layout uh, perform the following steps mentioned from the layout select the slide format having the picture frame double click the picture within the frame please uh, see figure this thing see these are different layouts given here this is empty slide this is uh, title and uh, sub points right from here you select this icon okay so here in this slide layout you will see this type of thing then you have to double click on this picture so picture it will open uh, this thing double click on the thing picture insert so select the picture you want to insert clip open the picture will be inserted in the workspace you can resize the picture if you want another way to add pictures from graphic file perform the steps mentioned select insert picture from file from file uh, from insert menu you have to select picture and then from file the insert picture dialog box opens select the file and then select the picture you want to insert on click on them click open move the picture to the desired location resize the picture if necessary so here it's given insert menu then picture and then from file and you can even scan it you can scan and insert the picture also inserting picture through scanner in the similar way by double clicking the respective frames the text or objects can be inserted to remove any element from the slide that is not required click the element to select it the green handle shown show that it is selected press the delete key and remove it simple modifying the appearance of slides if you want different appearance of all the slides in your presentation either you have to select another slide master from a range of pre formatted slide masters found in the master pages section of task pane or you can modify the selected slide master you can also create and save additional slide masters or add more from other sources creation of slide master is already explained above to change the background you can use the menu option select format page and go to the background tab select the desired background and click okay to apply it 
a a dialog box opens asking if the background should be applied to all these slides if you click yes then impress automatically modifies all the slide masters a pre- uh, then comes slide show finally after the after you created all the slides and you want to play the slide show then what to do for that a presentation prepared can be shown by running slide show slide show gives you a full screen view this can be done in one of the ways mentioned below using menu option select slide show on the menu main menu and then click on slide show using toolbar click the slide show button on the presentation toolbar or the slide shorter toolbar this is the and last one is the most common technique which we use in powerpoint f5 press f5 function key no need to do all this nonsense things straight away you can press the f5 function key okay now then during slide show also uh, that is also called presentation if this slide transition is on mouse click press uh, that we all know then press the down arrow key now here they are typing down arrow key here they are showing dollar so i am getting confused or space bar on the keyboard to go to the next slide generally in powerpoint we either give a single click or we press enter or we press the arrow keys to move the thing and if it is set automatically then we don't need to do anything it will go on moving and whenever we want to end this slide show if in between then we have to press the escape key adding text to all slides now you may need to show some text like date slide number or name or name of your company in all the slides we can include the required content in header or footer some of the supplied slide masters have such text objects in footer see figure 12.20 you can add other text objects to the master page for your slides to act as a header or footer like this way see this is footer right then choose view master slide master from the menu bar on drawing now what is this thing adding text to all this thing only we are doing now on the drawing toolbar select the text icon available at the bottom of the screen then click once and drag in the master page to draw a text object and then type or paste your text into the object you can also add the value of predefined fields if required last thing is choose view normal on completion of the task then to add a field such as date or page number to a text object in the header or footer choose insert fields and select the required field from the sub menu if you want to edit a field select it and choose edit fields the fields that you you can use in impress are mentioned below date that is fixed date variable updates automatically when you reload the file both the ways it's possible time also both the ways fixed and variable author first and the last name listed in the open office dot org user data page number that is slide number and file name inserting fields the default page number format can also be changed to change the number format that is 1 2 3 or a b c or first second third etc for the page number field choose format page and then select a format from the list in the layout area to change the author information go to tools options open office.org user data page setup if you want to take uh now this is the page setup thing from here you can set the size of the slide now i don't understand why we need to set all these things 
because automatically in PowerPoint presentation, when we play the slideshow, it displays it in the full screen. There is no need to set all this thing. Template and its uses. In openoffice.org, all documents are based on templates. Impress starts with the presentation wizard. When you create a new presentation using any of the way explained in the beginning of the chapter and if the presentation wizard is active, you will see several options available in for a new presentation. One of them is from template. If the presentation wizard is inactive, that is turned off, the openoffice.org uses the default presentation template. If you have not defined your own default template, a blank template is used available for the impress. Using templates available with openoffice.org, impress provides a set of pre-packed templates. The presentations folder contains two templates and the presentation backgrounds folder and the presentation background folder has some other templates. Templates available in presentation templates include a set of slides with same title and topics. Templates available in presentation background have only backgrounds and background objects. You can create a new presentation from the available templates. To do so, select File, New, Templates and then Documents from the menu bar. The Templates and Documents template window will be shown as figure 12.23. Double click the template name, template's name based on which you want to open the new presentation. How to create your own template? Many a times you may need to design a format that you would like to showcase. To create a template from a presentation, perform the steps given as mentioned. Open the presentation that you want to use for a template. Make the necessary changes if required. When it is finalized, select File, Template, Save from the main menu. The template window will be opened like this way. Type a name for a new template in the New Template field. Here you can see New Template field, therein type in the field name. To select the location for your template, click the folder in which you want to store the template. Generally, it is the My Templates folder unless you have created other folder. Then click on OK. Any presentation of your choice can be set as a default template. If you want to want, you can reset the default presentation template later. The procedure of setting a presentation as default template is uh, represented in Figure 12.25. 12 a template and organize and these all things. To open the template management dialog box, select file, templates, organize from the main menu and you can see in figure 12.25. In the box on the left, double click the folder containing the template that you want to set as the default. Then select the template, click the, uh, click the command button from the drop down menu Select set of default template. The next time that you create a document by choosing file, a new file, a new, the document will be created from this template. So here we complete the explanation of the textbook. Now in the last video, I will nicely explain you how to create a presentation of your choice practically.